has gotten such sweet revelation I would love to share with you. Hopefully it'll just go right into your heart. It's connected to what I shared on another video called Blab It and Grab It, Name It and Claim It. <clears throat> and um, in this book, he talks about the law, the law of speaking, confessing, professing God's word as a daily lifestyle. And he talks about, he talks about how there is our laws. This man is a lawyer named Rich Anthony. And I, there are limited numbers of these books at Amazon, but they're really worth finding, probably like hen's teeth. They sh I think the book should be published again. It's called The Law of Speaking, Professing, Confessing God's Word as a Daily Lifestyle. And it's by a Mr. Rich Anthony. And in the first couple pages, he talks about laws, the law of gravity. What if we didn't understand the law of gravity if we, if we tried to get from one building top to another? Well, we would fall. What if we didn't understand the law of gravity? We would still fall. There are physical laws that impact our lives. Well, I've just had such a wonderful revelation about the law in my body. There is a law of speaking, confessing, professing God's word as a daily lifestyle. It says that in the word of God that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Well, there is a law like gravity of sickness that comes from sin. The law of the spirit of life, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So, if I get symptoms in my body, which certainly I do because we all do, if I get symptoms in my body, well, there is a law working. The law that's working is the law of sin and death. And Christ has redeemed me from all the curse of sin. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. That's Galatians 3.13. But there is a law that trumps the law of pain and sickness and sin and death. And what is that law? It's the law of life in Christ Jesus. And how do we access that higher law? Well, it says in Hebrews chapter 11, Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I'll put it in other words. Without faith, it's impossible to access the promises of God. And the, the keynote promise of God is in Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. So if arthritis tries to attack my wrists and arms and hands, I have to be I have to be very diligent and vigilant in reminding myself of the higher law, the resurrection power of God, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead quickens my mortal body. How can that be? The law of life in Christ Jesus quickens my mortal body and through faith I access the resurrection power of God so that the truth can be manifested in my fingers and hands and wrists. And so just, just uh, connected to that is um, getting, getting your mind to a place where you recognize there is truth that's higher than what seems true at the moment. Yes, it might be true that you have pain in your wrists or your fingers or your hands or your back, but the truth is there is a law working, a law of resurrection power, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of arthritis, of 
of scoliosis, of, of um, curvatures of the spine. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. It's like gravity. Now, you know that if I were to drop the, let go of this paper, I think I'll use a smaller one, if I would let go of this paper, gravity is an operation. It falls down. Well, the Bible is calling the spirit of life a law. So this law, there is a law we can put into operation through speaking the word of God. It's a law. As a matter of fact, it's connected to the legal case uh, that is described. Um, it, said, it says in Revelation 12, uh, verse 11, I believe it is, it says, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Well, if I'm going to a court case with a judge, I'm going to present my evidence. So my evidence, as I present my case to the judge, is the blood of Jesus. I can, you know, you can plead your case, but regarding your physical ailments, you can plead the blood of Jesus. I plead, it's just like an iron-clad case that a lawyer has. He might walk into that courtroom and he knows he has all the evidence, A through Z, that his client will be exonerated. And that's what we have because when we walk into that courtroom of heaven and we know we have, there is a devil, Jesus talked about Satan 250 times, I understand. We know we have an enemy. And the enemy comes to steal, according to John 10.10, 10, and kill and destroy. So we have to remember, he is our adversary. And when we go into the courts of heaven against our adversary, we have an iron-clad case, and it's called the blood of Jesus. We can plead the blood of Jesus. Why? Because that blood was innocent blood shed to pay for all of my sins. And the reason sickness has a right in my body is because of sin in my life. So what about it if what about what about uh, the fact that I no longer have any sin? I have no sin in my life, no sin in my past, I have no past, I have no sin. So that's the only evidence really that would allow would allow dark would allow the my adversary to put sickness on my body. Sin. So Christ has redeemed me from the curse of all the law. I have been redeemed. I've been all I've been made righteous. 1 John 1, 9, confess your sins. He's faithful and just to cleanse Ellen of all unrighteousness. What does that mean? She has no history of sin in her life. None whatsoever. So this law, this higher law, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made Ellen free from the law of arthritic pain, the law of the spirit of life in Christ. It's a law. It's a law. And there's something uh, just the connection of the power of all that evidence of the blood being presented to the high court, the blood of Jesus. What does that blood represent? And then knowing that there is a a law, of, a law of pain and suffering and disease and sickness. That's one law. And then there's a law of life in Christ Jesus. And it's a law, like gravity is a law. That 
law works and how do we access that law by speaking, confessing, professing God's word as a daily lifestyle. By his stripes, I am healed. He sent his word and healed me. He is my, the God, he, my physician. He sent his word to anyone who will believe, and he healed all sickness and all disease, and it's a law. It must work. It's a law. It is a law. It must work. The resurrection power of God quickens my mortal body because I am accessing that law. There is a law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that I am tapping into so that I can be free, free of the law of pain, sickness, and disease. That's a law. But the law of life is a higher law. And it's a law. It is a law. It works. It is a law. And how do we, how do we fight the good fight of faith? When those thoughts come, and they come, in a deluge of thoughts come, when they come, we must fight with the word of God because Jeremiah 23, 29 says God's word is like fire and like a hammer that smashes the rock of most stubborn resistance. And I like to say it this way, God's word is like a raging forest fire and like a sledgehammer that shatters the rock of most stubborn resistance. You see, that's a law. That is a law. You must realize what I'm trying to get at. There's something that needs to drop down in our hearts so that we understand it's a law. It's a law. We can't, the, the, the enemy, the adversary, Satan, the devil, cannot break the law the higher law. He must, but we must accept it, believe it, receive it, embrace it, understand that it's true. It's true. Even though in the physical, it might seem ridiculous, but why have people been raised from wheelchairs? Because of the higher law. It's a law that was put into operation. It's a law. We, and this law works. The law works in our blood, in our glands, in our organs, in our every, every aspect of our bodies. It's a law of life in Christ Jesus. It's the word of God thumping, thumping. It is a law. Our bodies are healed because it is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Amen.